Good morning, Jay here from Advanced Window and Door Solutions here at our showroom in Menominee Falls, here to take a few moments to talk to you about what's going to be popular for fenestration in the 2022 year. So this video is for the contractors, remodelers, builders, um, upcoming home customers, and remodeling customers who want to be up to speed on what's hot. So without further ado, I'm going to talk to you first about colors. Black's been really popular the last few years and we do not see that changing for 2022. That being said, we think that bronzes, browns, and dark grays are going to be popular as well. So want to keep those colors in mind as you go forward thinking about your palette. Moving on to the next item that we think is going to be popular arches or radii on the tops of windows. So you're gonna have a lot of rectangles and squared off shapes in your home, but uh, if you really wanna create a focal point or whatnot, or a arch or a radius is a great way to do that. So uh, talk to your builder about how you can incorporate uh, that type of detail into your plan, and uh, no doubt you'll be very happy with how that turns out. Also want to take a moment to talk to you about privacy glass. So uh, opaque glasses or frosted glasses, there's a couple different ways you can achieve that. You can order glasses that are already frosted or opaque from the manufacturer and they stay that way all the time. Uh, if you have uh, within your budget to do so, another option you could explore would be electrochromic or thermochromic glass which starts out as a clear pane of glass, but you apply a little bit of electricity or a little bit of heat and voila, you have a frosted or opaque piece of glass now. So uh, very cool to see, check out some videos online for that and you'll be uh, pretty impressed with how that looks. So also want to talk to you about grids or simulated divided lights, which I have an example of behind me here. So with those, I think we're going to see that we're going to be stepping away from those a little bit. Now there is going to be, there are going to be some designs where you're going to want to work those in, but um, generally speaking, I think that uh, foregoing the grids is going to be something we see a lot of this year. If you are going to stick with the grid in your window, think simple. So maybe one simple horizontal bar and one uh, vertical bar, so a simple cross pattern. Uh, so just uh, keeping it down to a, a minimal, minimalist um, approach if you're going to incorporate the SDL or grid into your window options. And then lastly, uh, no surprise here as we've been seeing a trend towards this the last couple of years, but the size of the window, uh, go big or go home, uh, make the windows as large as possible, especially uh, given that there's more people working from home nowadays and we've been cooped up for the last few years. And um, I think there's gonna be an emphasis on bringing in some daylight or optimizing that daylight opening and uh, taking advantage of, of the views of what's around your home. And we see that as a trend uh, continuing throughout the new year. So like I said, just wanted to touch on those points as to what's going to be popular for uh, this building year. Um, you can contact us if you have any other questions or want any other insight. If you're a homeowner who is uh, looking to build or looking to remodel and you haven't selected a contractor or remodeler yet or builder, uh, we can certainly point you in the right direction as we work with uh, many great companies who can do outstanding work for you and uh, we'll partner with them to make sure that you're satisfied with your project. So again, my name is Jay with Advanced Window and Door Solutions. This is the first of what we think are going to be many videos uh, to help guide you as you explore the world of fenestration. Thank you very much for the time. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of the week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.